Come on. I'm here on behalf of Lillian Roberts, the executive director of DC 37. And she wants to let everyone here know one thing. We completely support the workers in Wisconsin, and we're going to do whatever we need to do to make sure we make that right for them. We're not just going to do it in Wisconsin, we're going to do it in every state across this country. Because what they plan to do in Wisconsin is what they plan to do in New York, Connecticut, New Jersey, Florida, and we're just not having it. We're not having it, and we'll let everyone know we're not having it. Because just like the council member said, unions built this country. Unions gave us two days off. Unions gave us health benefits. Unions gave us minimum wage. It was unions that built this country, and it is unions that will support this country and make it stronger. And anyone, anybody that gets in the way, we're going to have to get them out of office. If they think that they can do what they're doing in Wisconsin and New York, I got news for them. It's just not going to be about what's happening in Wisconsin. I have great faith in the American people. They know what to do. We fought revolutions. And there are other revolutions within the world that we can take our notes from. And we know how to put people out of office if they're not going to give us what we need. All they're building now in New York is upper middle class housing. What is the housing for people who are working class? They keep talking about affordable housing. What's affordable housing? $3,000 a month? No, affordable housing isn't $2,000 a month. Affordable housing for most working class New Yorkers isn't even $1,000 a month. That's why in some neighborhoods, you have two and three families living in a one bedroom apartment just so they can keep a roof over their kids' heads and keep feeding them. All right? We're not having that either. They need to start putting together some type of public records program, some type of projects that will put people back to work, just like they did in the 30s. If we have to go pick up Franklin Delano Roosevelt or Mayor LaGuardia, we'll go do that. We'll put people in public office who know what the worker needs. We don't need people in office who just tell people, let them eat cake.